Good morning, Primary Boy. Welcome back to Math Session with me, Miss Tere. Now we're going to continue our word problems. Uh, chapter one, practice. Chapter five, practice one. So we are in it number six. Okay. Number four and five have discussed under the meeting. We're going to go to the next number. So number six. The mass of a pail is 2,490 gram when it is filled at 1 per 4 with sand. Okay, so a pail and 1 per 4 filled with sand will be 2,490. It has a mass of 9,240 gram when it is fully filled with sand. Find the mass of the pail when it is empty. Now, do you know what a pail is? It looks like a bucket, right? So it means that that pail has its own mass. Understand? The pail has its own mass. Artinya, itu seember udah ada beratnya. Jadi, 2490 is not only with this one per four filled with sand, but a pail plus one per four sand. That's it. So, for example, that black box is for a mass of the pail. And this is one per four filled with sand. So for all of this, pail with one quarter sand, 2490 grams. And now we have another information that a pail with four per four sand, which is fully filled, right? Four per four full filled with sand will be pail. Of course, the mass of the pail will be same. Kan nggak mungkin dong berat. Uh, berat pailnya itu beda-beda kalau diisi tapi sama yang beda adalah berat dari pasirnya so this pail the mass of the pail is this and 4 per 4 cent so all of this will be 900 and 9240 grams so do you see can you spot the difference yes so that's it that's the question find the mass of the pail when it is empty so now that is the difference that we need to spot as you can see that this until this 2490 this until this 2490 so this until this is 9240 but how is for this what can we do subtract it that's it so equals 6750 gram for these units or three per four now we know that 3 units equals 6750 so 1 unit will be 2250 grams so we know that this is 2250 grams can we find now the mass of the pail yes by that's it subtracted equals 240 grams so the mass of the pail when it is empty is 240 grams sounds complicated I give you 10 seconds to look at it or you can pause this video to study it over to study over it okay go to the next number seven mrs. Hong had some milk she used one per six of it to bake some waffles and 300 milliliters to bake a pie after baking the waffles and the pie she had half of the milk left how much milk did Mrs. Hong have at first? As you can see, Mrs. Hong had this milk at first, one whole, right? After that, she used one per six, so divided into six box. Okay? And then one per six of it is for waffles and 300 milliliters to bake a pie. But we do not know how many box or how many units is for 300 milliliters, right? So skip it and then go to the next information. We know that half of the milk left. So half of this means what? Means three boxes. How do you know that is three boxes? Look at we have six and then half of six, of course, three. So this three per six or half was left. Now we know, do we know how many balls for 300 milliliters to bake a pie? Yes, means the rest. So that is, is for pie. And now we know that pie is 300 milliliters. And now we know that there are two units for pie. 
So one unit will be 150 milliliters. Can we find out? Can we find out how much milk that Mrs. Hong have at first? If one box equals 150, so for this six box equals how many? 150 times 6 equals 900 milliliters. So Mrs. Hong had a 900 milliliters of milk at first. That's it. If you do not know, go uh, skip that information like this and go to the next, which is how. And then we can finally find out that 300 milliliters equals 2 units. And then 1 unit will be 150. So if 150 for 1 unit, 6 units, how many? Just times it. Amelia wanted to redeem a voucher. She had only 3 per 5 of the total number of points needed. After she earned another 50 points, she still needed 3% out of total number of the points. How many points did Amelia need to redeem the folder? Nah, as we can see that she had only 3 per 5, so that's why I have 5 boxes. 3 per 5, that is at first. And then after she earned another 50 points, do we know how many boxes for 50 points? We do not know. So skip it and go to the next information. She still needed 3 per 10. Because 3 per 10, these 5 boxes, we must cut it into how many to make it 10? Ah, make it half. So now we have 10 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now we know that 3 per 10 of this needed. Understand? So n at first is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 per 10. And I'm um, still needed 3 per 10. And then um, she earned another 50 points. Can we place these 50 points into the box? Yes. So that is 50 points. Understand? So 3 per 5 at first is 1, 2, 3. And then earn another 50 points and then need it 3 per 10. Because need it 3 per 10, we're gonna make it these boxes into 10. So just cut it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 3 per 10 needed. So we know that this 3 per 10 still needed. And then we have this unknown. Because this is unknown, well, it will belong to 50 points. Understand? Okay. Now go to the next. How many points did Amelia need to redeem the voucher? If 1 unit equals 50, 10 units equals, that's it. So Amelia needed 500 points to redeem the voucher. Then, then, if I have the question, actually, how many points, how many more points did Amelia need to redeem the voucher? How many? means that this 3, ya kan? Berarti yang dibutuhkan berapa lagi? 3 units. 3 units times 50 points equals 150 points. So after this, after whole of this, Amelia still, need, still needed 150 points to redeem the voucher. But for all, Amelia needed 500 points to redeem the voucher. So that's all for today from Revive. Only three questions I believe that is makes your brains tired already. Don't worry, practice your logic. Come on, we need to practice your logic by doing your workbook chapter 5, practice 1, number 9. So we discuss on the Zoom 25 August. And then uh, let me announce you something that let me get book on the 31st August. 31st August, the end, the last day of August, you're going to have your math quiz, okay? So do not forget to study about your word problems. Your quiz will be chapter 4 and chapter 5. I will announce it later in this PowerPoint presentation, not in this video. That's all for today from Revive. If you have any questions, you may ask me. Your questions are welcome. Thank you and God bless you.